Hi, my name is Weston, and for this video, I will be creating a negative ion generator, which will create a sandstorm using st static electricity. After completing this project, you should be able to collect small particles such as sand and, s and wood dust. Right here we have an example of this dust jumping to my hand for a charge and dropping back down, releasing the charge. I have become Electro. This is my negative ion generator. Right here we have our negative ion generator that connects that which we have a red wire which connects into our switch. Then we have a battery pack with a nine volt battery, a nine volt battery harness and a nine volt battery, which has the red wire connecting into the switch. So now we have our two ports that are occupied. Now we have um, our black wires. So first, we have our negative ion generator. One of our black wires is connecting into here. Then we have our battery harness black wire that's connecting into here. Then we have a ground wire that we made manually. And we have our red wire. So the black wire is our grounding which this connects onto your foot. Then a red wire connects into this plate, which goes into your sock. And this connects right on the side of your foot right here. For this project, you will need these following materials. You will need a lighter used to um, heat up the heat shrinks so they attach to the wiring. Velcro to strap to your foot, a switch to turn it off and on, uh, electrical tape so it'll strap everything together, a 9 volt battery harness and a 9 volt battery just to charge everything up. You will need also a pen knife to cut, and you will need a negative ion generator which will power everything up. Where did you buy that? We bought this off of Amazon, which took like a month to come. Okay, directly from China. And this right here is a soap box, which holds everything together. These are the wires that are going to be used. And this is the solder, and this is the soldering gun. Used to solder everything together. Mm -hmm. And these are the heat shrinks that will be heated by the lighter to make everything stay intact. Okay. And this can will be used to uh, put the static electricity on your shin and will go into your body. And you will become a walking EMP. This is the negative ion generator. This is the heart of my science project. Right now, um, soon it will be uh, being powered by DC. Uh, for this project, this will be the power in this will be the power out part for this part we will be using a heat shrink tubing to put over the wire which will be over the red wire which the red wire will connect to the switch and will be soldered will be twisted over the switch and will be soldered about talking. I'm just going to film what you're doing, okay?
Drink on, all right. That goes in there. Twist those together. Okay. Now we're gonna solder those, right? Doesn't fit. Yeah. Push it down. Slide the heat shrink. You want to back the phone up. ion generator does not have a dedicated ground wire so we're gonna make one by connecting it right here After soldering your ground wire, you sh a good way to test if the connection is working is flip the switch on and put the ground wire and your connection together to see if it's making a spark. ground wire you want to put your negative ion generator and your battery pack inside your soap box then you want to cut a little notch with a, a heated pen knife and put your switch inside next you want to make two holes for your ground wire and your output wire.
Next, you want to cut your can and make two oval shaped pieces. Also, remember when you're sanding, you want to be able to make a shape that makes good contact against your shin. Sand it. And after cutting it, you want to make sure to sand each side. Next, you want to make a hole in the, your Velcro strap and take your black wire and put it through it. Then, you want to place your foil right so it fits comfortably for the wire. Then, you want to fold it over it and you're placing your wire over your uh, foil, you want to make sure it is spread out so it gets a lot of contact. Contact. I'm going to flip it over. To use this device, put, place the housing in your pocket place the red wired tin foil in your shin so it fits nicely in your sock next you want to take your ground wire and place it under your foot See the bottom of your foot? Show me the bottom. Right there. Okay. Okay. Firecracker. Wood particles. Works. Sand. Sand from the playground. I can't see underneath. Do it again. The particles are jumping up to Weston's hand to get a charge. Rock dust. Now your hand's powdery. So the very fine particles will jump up to your hand. These are wood chips from the saw. Sawdust. Sawdust. And this is styrofoam crushed balls. Is it moving? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Touch the metal. Do it again. Try the match. Okay, so what does that tell you? That's another test. Iron filings.